Hello and welcome to Donna Gamer Gaming. This is Genosis, and I have a, another follow-up video for a video we've had a bit of um, kind of controversy for, I should say, is that we originally made this video, I'd say back in December, the AFK base. You may have seen it, uh, many of you have. Um, and there was uh, some questions about whether this can handle more zombies. So we answer that with the version two of the AFK base. Now, this held up really well against 64 zombies, and I didn't do the whole thing the entire night, and we were quite successful. Made a couple of alterations, and uh, yeah, it did quite well. Now, there was questions to follow up even that video. What about insane zombies? Uh, what about using blade traps? What, what kind of base would you actually fight in? Like, AFK is neat and all that, but I want to kill some zombies. So, we took this concept, that is the the bump and bump and the knocking down and a start all over again thing. And we also took the concept of a big old steel base able to handle 64 zombies. And we're going to fight the zombies this time in version 3.0, <laughs> right here, of our non-AFK base. All made in steel. I did pay a little bit of a paint job. The wife requested black and orange, so I kind of went all kind of town with that. So we have the same premise. We have the uh, stairway to go up here. And then we have the usual turrets to knock them off. Now we added electrical traps. That should further deter them from getting any further. They'll jump up, they'll get shocked, they'll get knocked down into blade traps. Should they walk through and around and get knocked off or fall in any direction, they will land in blade traps. Darn wolves, you, you shush you. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, now the end of the path is right here in this bunker. Now here we have dart traps on both sides, sandwiching them in four dart traps, <laughs> so anything that stands there will not last very long. We also have gun turrets on each side, pointing towards the door, kind of aimed up and around so I don't shoot everything else right at the moment. And then we have bird turrets. Uh, they're all loaded with uh, 9mm guns, and they're plenty loaded for any birds that will happen upon the base. Now, just for the base construction itself, we added some, uh, some uh, solar panels here to take place of generators. Here's the main room, and that powers the generator room here, where we have a bunch of battery banks that's supplying all the power. Now there's uh, switches here to make sure that everything's enabled. These are all on, everything's active. All right, that is the general gist of the base. Now, I can pause here for a moment and just kind of look at it, see how it's constructed. Actually, let me just get rid of the dog. Just want to... There we go. <laughs> all right. Uh, also, uh, to avoid any uh, interruption, in here we have... Uh, relays. Now the way the relay works is that it's powered, everything's powered through the relays and then up into the electrical wires. So if should any of these get destroyed, all the remaining relays or all the remaining traps will remain functional. And those are all protected into steel layered vaults uh, with all of our traps and wire through here. So a little bit smarter wiring situation, um, a little bit more redundancy. Our turrets are still front and center. And I will be in here right in here, ready to shoot all the zombies. Let me just open up that vault. Hold on, can I, uh... Interesting, can't seem to, hold on, interact with it. Hmm. I'll have to fix that. Anyways, without further ado, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of maintenance, and, oh, wow, that works. <laughs> and testing, to make sure this is all gonna work before we begin. All right, horror is upon us. I figured out that little hatch issue I, I'm not even sure what specifically caused it. It's just, I just replaced it and it worked fine. All right, so we're going to shoot down this hallway. We got an, an M60 loaded with a, about a thousand rounds. And we have a, you know, another 1500 here ready to go. Um, that should be plenty, considering that this base should theoretically take care of itself. But we're here to actually see that this base is going to be fun to fight hordes as well. So let's take a, just another kind of glance around. Yeah, all glass. And then we have our hatch up here where we can take a look at all the devastation that's going to happen. All right, let's get locked up in here. Things are about to hit the fan. All right, here comes the insane zombies. The demolishers are coming right away. Okay, let's get make sure we're right in here and ready to go. Pop myself back in. And let's get rocking. Yeah, so far, so good. We're going to just test the demolisher right away. Which, uh, yeah, was no problem. Now they're getting knocked off. They're getting shocked. And oh yeah, they're they're not they're not getting to me. But I'll make sure I take care of the demolishers whenever possible. 
Yeah, I think he's still coming. But I'll pay, pay special attention to them. Alright, so I tried getting some additional shots from a third-party perspective, but uh, aiming and gun was proving difficult. And I think I actually set up a demolisher or two. <laughs> but the base is holding up just fine. Uh, oh, actually, my gun's worn out. That's easy enough to fix. But turrets are still operational. And we're still kind of really safe here. I'm just kind of shooting just for fun and experience at this point. But yeah, the um, spe paying special attention to the demolisher is definitely the trick. Try to aim for their heads whenever possible. And if they're stunned, just gun them down. We're actually getting an extraordinary amount of uh, demolishers. So we're definitely getting all kinds. Let's just take a look at our game stage here. Uh, it's still at 720. I don't know if that's maximum now or how that works. I used to be able to get over a 1,000 game stage, depending on the day. So maybe the calculations are different. I don't know. Either case, uh, we're pretty much getting the maximum amount of, of crap here. Uh, insane zombies, 64 of them. Um... Uh, there's, yeah, we're, we're, everything's cranked up here, and we're doing just fine. All right, now we, we know we can handle the Horde sitting here with an M60, not a problem. Let's actually test the, uh, actually, let me leave that open. But let's go ahead and test the AFK portion of the space and see how that's handling. Now, of course, the Blade Traps did take the brunt of the Demolisher Explosion. And there's uh, still a one or two left over here. Now, there is some swinging happening down here from some frustrated zombies. But we're not in any danger. All right, let's see how this handles here. And I'll stay here for a moment to see uh, where they go. Alright, so far the FK base portion is holding up very well. Uh, there was a white that managed to skip across the top of it and get to the end. They're fast. And he was probably taking care of the turrets and the darts. He didn't last more than a couple of moments. Now, you can tell there is a bottleneck there. And uh, that one turret is doing a lot of the work. But the work he is doing, the, the bo bodies are still flying over the place. So again, uh, we're about, uh, about midnight right now. So we're a couple hours into the Horde night. We still got... You know, two-thirds of the way left to go. All right, so it's uh, another an hour, hour has passed. Uh, I'd say maybe two or three zombies might have got past these two uh, sledge turrets. And they, like, well, okay, let's make that four. Oh, look at that. He actually, I need to close that door. <laughs> My bad. Let me go take care of him. Hold on. Uh, there we go. There. Bit of a glitch, but we're fine. Alright, so actually let me close this door here for a second. I'm going to spawn in a sniper rifle. Alright, let's see how that handles in this situation. Yeah, the uh, sniper rifle actually is, seems preferable in this case. Although I do see a little pile up here, which might use a little bit of M60 love. Just over there. There we go. Yeah, but when you're doing this, the shots, the penetrator perk is kind of highlighting here because I'm shooting through the bodies and hitting more zombies below, behind them. So you may get like triple headshots, but you know, with the insane zombies, they won't die as quick. But you have to look, watch out for those little pricks. Yeah, that guy right there. Not a problem. Alright, well, one hour to go. I was going to switch to the M60 for a little bit, because I need to, need to thin them out a little bit. Which is hard to do, considering how many friggin' zombies there is there. But yeah, no, they're still coming up. I think the demolishers seem to have 
taking a break. I haven't seen too many very lately. So, uh, I'm going to switch to this for a little bit, just to clean house. But the sniper rifle definitely does a great job from a distance. Let's get rid of that. Hey, little fella. <laughs> but yeah, from a distance, you can get all the headshots all day with this. Especially with the penetrator perk. Uh, you can actually get a lot of uh, extra, extra bullet usage on that. Actually, I gotta make an alteration right now, so pardon me for just a second. I'm gonna pop that door off. Pop that door off. Get rid of that bag. And then put the hatch right there. That should have been there, there in the first place. So just uh, save some, hey, you should have tried it this way, how would that work? I'm gonna fix it right now so we can answer that. So let's get someone over here. Because uh, that will stop them. Come on, over here. Oh gosh, I'll wait for someone to survive my gambit <laughs> in order to test this out. But should anything get over here, the that will be taken care of by the dart traps this time. I may even have to spawn something in if they don't make it. All right, let's go in third-party mode. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a lot of zombies. Yeah, so far it's holding up. There's a couple plate losses. Uh, they're banging on like at one spot, but there's this place is not coming down. Oh god, <laughs> that was awful. Hanging by his head. All right, are we going to get any zombies there? It looks like I lost some light, but not a big deal. We get our zombies to light the way. All right, it is morning time. Now, there's still a lot of zombies rocking here, but I think we can clear them out pretty quick. Let's get my... Uh, UI back here. Oh yeah, let's just let's just clean house. The fact that they they're not coming back makes this a lot easier. Let me just uh, step out here, but not stepping on that. Oh, you cheeky little bugger! There we go. Get rid of all of these guys. And there's and then there's quite a few of them. <laughs> there is quite a few of them. I, mean, I think this is why I don't play on on insane. Usually, even if I'm trying to challenge myself, they are absolute bullet sponges. It is nuts. I'm hungry. I got some food right here. Eating those kind of moot. Oh yeah, and there's definitely a screamer from all this action. All right, so uh, let me actually turn off my traps. You just stay tight there, guys. Uh, okay, turn that off and that off. Oh wow. Well, of course. Yeah, normally these zombies wouldn't take that many bullets, but the insane settings definitely makes them a bit spongy. You dead? Yeah, you're dead. Alright, let's take assess the damage. You know, this place would probably survive another night. I mean, it's still pretty damaged from the, uh, the demolisher explosions, but all in all, let's take a look at the... What am I hearing? Hold on. Ah, uh, yes. Just a few straggler... Screamer zombies, take care of those guys. Okay, now let's assess the damage. This kind of untouched here. Actually, let's get our repair tool here. Yeah, I mean, that's easy to fix. Let's just get some concrete just to give a good notion of how much it'll take to bring this place operational. So, yeah, completely fixed. Yeah, that's all just a little bit of steel damage. No, uh, no block loss. I don't, we only lost like one block down here. So, yeah, just the one block. And we can obviously just kind of pop that in, and we're good. So, blade traps are obviously toast. Actually, there's another block that would have been lost here somehow. Probably demolisher. Excuse me, lady. And on this side... Okay, there's even there's even a remaining blade trap. Which can be fixed just like that. But yeah, all in all, this place upheld really well. So again, applying the same principles of the AFK base to have them here. These are naturally slowing them down as they jump up and down. Knock off they go. And uh, just to show folks at home how this is done, you see how those are half blocks and then that's a whole block on top, on top of a half block? Just to answer the question, it's not. It's a, you get a half block and then a whole block. So, and then I add a half block on top of it. Let's uh, take that block out now. Actually, that's a plate. There we go. So that's a whole block right there, and then half block right on top. Okay, and that's how we did our path. 
All right, anyways, this has been Genosis with Day 7000 Insane Non-AFK Base. <laughs> That's going to be a long title. I'll have to figure out how to do that. If you like what you saw here today and helped with you some ideas, or if you have additional ideas, put them in the comments. But please consider liking and subscribing. We would very much appreciate it. We're just about over to 5K. Hell, we may even be 5K by the time this video comes out. And we thank, have you all to thank for that. All right, this has been Genosis, and have a good day.